Continuing on with graph transformations, we're going to be looking at reflection in this video. Okay, so when you're dealing with reflection, um, at this level we're going to be just looking at reflection in the x-axis and the y-axis. So if I draw in uh, an x-axis, for example, and then I choose a random point, let's say the point uh, 2, 3, then if I reflect this point in the x-axis, it will appear down here, and it will now have coordinates to minus 3. Okay? Well, that seems fair enough. Let's just take a moment to consider what's going on here. Comparing the two coordinates, you can see that the x-coordinate hasn't changed, but the y-coordinate has become negative, so the y-coordinate changes sign. So, in the same way as you would do for coordinates, that means that in an equation, if I'm going to reflect it in the x-axis, then I'm going to change the sign of the y's. So, for example, if you had something like uh, y is equal to 5 minus 3x, then this line, 5 minus 3x, will look something like this, going through 5 on the y-axis. And then if I reflect this in the x-axis, then it will now look like something like this. Okay, so now going through minus 5 in the y-axis. So if I replace the y with minus y, and then multiply through or divide through by minus 1, we can write y is equal to minus 5 plus 3x, or just 3x minus 5. And this is the line of that, well, that's the equation of that line. So if you are going to reflect in the x-axis, then replace y with minus y. Okay? So that's the rule that we really need to know. Now, how about if we're reflecting in the y-axis? Okay, well, we'll do a similar little example. If we've got a y-axis, and then I have a coordinate, let's say I've got the coordinate minus 3, 5, and then I reflect it in the y-axis, then the new coordinate will have a different x-coordinate. It will now be 3, 5. But as you can see, the y-coordinate stays the same. So it is now the x-coordinate that must change. So if we look at y is equal to 5 minus 3x, as we did before, and I, ref well, 5 minus 3x would look something like this, and I now reflect this in the y-axis, then the actual line will look something like this, okay? But for the equation, I now replace the x with minus x, and subsequently you've got minus 3 times minus x, so that's just 5 plus 3x. So this line has the equation y equals 5 plus 3x. So if you're reflecting in the y-axis, replace x with minus x. And I'm not just talking about just one of the x's, replace one of the x's with minus x. It must be all of those that appear in that equation. Okay? And likewise, if you're reflecting the x-axis, if you've got more than one y, then you need to replace all of those y's with minus y. And that's how we can reflect in both the x and y axis.